All right, guys, we are once again talking about Marvel Studios Avengers The Kang Dynasty. Talking about some more characters in the film because, of course, this is going to be the Infinity War of the Multiverse Saga. So we're going to be having pretty much all of our current MCU characters coming into this film. And so we keep getting updates on characters that are confirmed, characters that are rumored, all that stuff. And today we are talking about the Fantastic Four. But instead of it being... A video about okay it's confirmed the fantastic four are going to be in avengers the king dynasty it's actually the opposite because it may have been confirmed that they're not going to be in avengers the king dynasty which is not exactly what i was expecting but of course again jeff loveness the writer of ant-man and the wasp quantumania is also writing marvel studios avengers the king dynasty and he's been doing a lot of interviews lately talking about this movie and uh, he's been spitting out a lot of little tidbits of information, and today he talked about the Fantastic Four. So here's the exact quote. Yeah, it's definitely a tricky thing, but much like when I took on this Ant-Man job, I can't really focus on that outside stuff. I have, I've just got to lay down the bones of a good story, hopefully, and find the characters that I want to tell it. And then it becomes a game of ping pong with the other people. Like, whoever comes on and does Fantastic Four or Blade or... I'm probably not even using those characters, you know. But it all informs itself. So, um... Fantastic Four or Blade, I'm probably not even using those characters. So, first, let's talk about Blade real quick. I know he's not mentioned in the title or thumbnail or, like, anywhere else in this video. Just want to talk about him quick. Blade... We don't know what's going on with that movie. I think they're going to start filming soon, like May 1st or something like that. And so that's exciting. Um, obviously, Mahershala Ali is Blade. That's going to be great and everything. We really don't know much about this movie. Um, I don't know if he'll be in this movie, but I'd say I'm assuming he'll be at least in Secret Wars because... You know, we got Midnight Suns be being set up here, and Blade is very integral to that, and he could definitely play a huge role in this. Um, as I mentioned in my pr one of my previous videos, um, I did a video breaking down a plot leak for Kang Dynasty a couple months ago, um, so go find that, check it out. Um, and Blade was involved in that, so um, for all we know, in this, in this little quote here, this hypothetical, he could just be straight up lying by saying, I'm probably not even using those characters. Like, that could just be a straight up lie. But, you know, for the sake of this video, we're going to pretend that he is fully truthful about this and he's not using Blade or the Fantastic Four, which are the ones that are a bit more concerning and make a little less sense. Why would they not be in this movie? Because from what we saw when Fantastic Four was announced, when Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars were announced, it was announced as Phase 6. So, originally... Fantastic Four was supposed to kick off Phase 6, I believe, and it was basically supposed to lead right straight into Avengers the Kang Dynasty. This is the last movie that comes out before Kang Dynasty, I believe. I mean, with all the delays and shifts in the schedule, I don't remember for sure, but I feel like that's... That's what I'm remembering off the top of my head. So it would make sense in a very similar way how to to how we have Captain America New World Order and Thunderbolts coming out back to back where some New World Order stuff is definitely setting up some stuff for Thunderbolts. We were kind of thinking like, all right, Fantastic Four are going to get introduced in their movie and then the next movie will be Kang Dynasty. They'll come into the fold for uh, this big crossover event movie. But apparently that is not going to be the case, at least according to Jeff Loveness. And again, while I do have my doubts about this and I do still think that they probably will be in this movie, um, maybe they won't be. Because if they aren't, they definitely at least will be in Avengers The Secret Wars. Because Fantastic Four, specifically Reed Richards, has such an integral part to Secret Wars in the comics. That, of course, is mainly because it's more of a Doctor Doom story and Kang isn't really involved here. But my big theory going on here with this story is that maybe Fantastic Four, they're not in Kang Dynasty, but they then come to be basically the leads of Secret Wars. Reed Richards could be the lead of Marvel Studios Avengers Secret Wars. And why would that be? Well, this is another thing Jeff Loveness was actually talking about recently, how very soon we will be finding out who Kang the Conqueror is related to and what that means for his character, his variants, and his heritage. Because in the comics, Kang the Conqueror, his true identity 
is Nathaniel Richards. So that's right. He is a descendant of Reed Richards. He's from the future. So Reed Richards, like great, great grandson, something like that. I don't know how many greats it is, is Kang the Conqueror. So this could be what's being set up here is maybe we don't get to see Reed Richards and the Fantastic Four in Kang Dynasty. Although there are rumors that Kang, or at least a variant of Kang, could be involved in that movie, and that would be a pretty cool re reveal to do in that film, or maybe save it for Secret Wars. But either way, make it Secret Wars, kind of how in Endgame and Infinity War, the big thing was Tony Stark, Iron Man versus Thanos. That was the big matchup. This one could be Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, Kang the Conqueror, because of that personal connection, because they're specifically related to each other, and especially with the characteristics of who Reed Richards is, you could play with the guilt of that and his morals and everything, and, you know, could drive him to making himself want to be a better hero. Like, there's just a lot that could be played around with, uh, with this idea, and if he's not in Kang Dynasty and the Fantastic Four aren't in that movie, it might make sense that they want to just save that for Secret Wars, and that's why they won't be in that film. But I just think this would be a great way to explore Kang as well, because, of course, um, just like how, again, with Infinity War and Endgame, though specifically Infinity War, that movie really focused on the character of Thanos. He was really kind of the protagonist of that film, and I feel like with Kang Dynasty specifically, I mean, obviously his name is in the title of the movie, I would not at all be surprised if Kang the Conqueror was the protagonist, or at least the, it, feel, it might feel like his movie. So I think this would be a great way of going about doing that. And if that means we don't get to see the Fantastic Four in Kang Dynasty, obviously that would be unfortunate. But we know that, you know, that's going to be the, I don't want to say smaller scale, but definitely smaller version of Secret Wars. And then Secret Wars is just going to take to the whole next level, bringing in literally every single character from Marvel live action ever. So it's going to get insane. Um... I'm a little surprised by this at first, but when you really think about it, it does kind of make sense. Again, it just depends on what their plans are. They're still mapping out the story. Uh, but for now, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this possible confirmation that the Fantastic Four and Blade will not be in Marvel Studios' Avengers The Kang Dynasty? Are you upset by this? Do you think it makes sense? Do you have any other theories specifically related to my uh, big plot synopsis for... Uh, Secret Wars with the whole Reed Richards, Nathaniel Richards connection. But anyways, guys, thanks, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I keep the date on everything goes on in the Marvel life.